Hi there! My name is Sweetie Belle. On your way to Ponyville? That's great! But there's a few things you should know before you get there. First, which you've probably already figured out, is how to navigate through conversations. Simply left click when a character is done talking to advance to the next set of dialogue. Looks like you got the hang of it! If you don't want to wait for the next text to pop up, you can double click. This will make the text appear when a character is talking to you, their name will come up above the chat box. Unless you're talking, then it will say you. If you're thinking about something, then no name comes up. Next, you need to know how to make a decision. Often, options will show up for you to choose from. These options will appear in the middle of a chat box. Just use your mouse to select the option you want. Give it a try. Yeah! Good job! Miss Cheerly says that everything we do can influence the ponies around us, and even all of Equestria. I think she meant your decisions are really important. I don't know. I kind of fell asleep in class that day. Sometimes you'll encounter major decisions. When this happens, you'll get two options. One of them will be neutral, but the other will say either hero or anti-hero, depending on your previous decisions. Oh, and if you want to turn off voice, just hit the M key on your keyboard. You probably want to know the save feature, huh? The game will save every time there's a new day. So don't worry, there's no hidden typewriters for you to find. <laughs> there is one last thing I'm supposed to tell you guys. Thank you for downloading the game and have fun! And if you want to learn more, check out phillygames.com. Well, that's all. I hope you enjoy it. I wonder if I'll get a teaching cutie mark for this. Oh, sweetie Belle, where are you? Oh, hey, I gotta go. See you in Ponyville. Gather your belongings!
Gather your belongings, every pony. We'll be arriving in Ponyville in 10 minutes. Please prepare to depart the train. Excuse me, we're about to arrive in Ponyville. Might I see your ticket? Thank you. Ah, a Pegasus. Spend a lot of time in the clouds, do you? I'm sure you'll fit right in. Hmm. Very well, sir. Everything appears to be in order. Welcome to Ponyville. Well, I reckon y'all must be new in town, judging by them bags you got there. Well, y'all don't quite look like Ponyville folk, what with the luggage and all. Tell you what, newcomer, how about I give you a free sample? A gift from Sweet Apple Acres. Applejack, and this here's my little sister, Apple Bloom. We work the farm over at Sweet Apple Acres. Y'all come back again soon now, you hear? It's always nice to meet new faces. Depends. Are you new to Ponyville? Well, if you're looking for a house, you should know the mayor has to approve all real estate purchases within town limits. Currently, there are three houses for sale. If you would like, I could mark them on a map for you. Not a problem. Map. 
Just come back here and I'll let the mayor know that you wish to speak with her. She will handle all the paperwork. Have a good day. Welcome back. Did you find a house that suited you? I informed the mayor that you'd be coming by to speak with her about a house. I'll let her know you're here. The mayor will see you now, sir. Welcome to Ponyville. I am Mayor Mayor. I understand you are looking for a house. Very well. What house are you interested in? Are you sure? Very well. What house are you interested in? Are you sure? <clears throat> well, let me see here. Usual price for that home is 2100 bits. But our housing market has been in decline as of late. I would be willing to sell it to you for 1700 Very good then. Here is the key to your new home. As Mayor of Ponyville, I would like to be the first to welcome you as our newest Pegasus. Please enjoy your stay. If you're ever looking for work, there is a board in the lobby that usually has jobs posted. Enjoy your new home and don't be afraid to stop by should you need anything.
<laughs> Hello there, dear customer, and welcome to Carousel Boutique. Well, I have never seen you before. Would you happen to be new in Ponyville? Marvelous, darling. Welcome to Ponyville. You'll simply love it here, I assure you. It has all the niceties of a big city with a touch of rule. My name is Rarity, the proprietor of this dandy establishment, as well as Ponyville's shining fashionista. It's always nice to meet new faces. What can I get for you? Wait, let me guess. Something proper. You would look simply dashing in formal attire. Perhaps you're planning a romantic evening with that special sum pony, and you need an absolutely stunning ensemble. Whatever it is, I assure you that I have something just for the occasion. With Rarity's designs, you are guaranteed to draw Anne-Marie. Oh, but of course. If you just moved in, you probably need to furnish your new home. Well, curious story, that. It isn't usually my thing. There was a bit of a shipping mix-up, actually. I was supposed to get in a shipment of designer fabric, but instead wound up with a shipment of furniture. How some pony made that oversight, I'll never know. Naturally, I was furious at first. Once I got a good look at the bed sheets and cartons, I thought to myself, <gasps> Idea! Why not turn this mistake into an opportunity? So, I kept the furniture. I rather enjoy the challenge of making fashionable furniture. Of course, clothing is still my passion, but it doesn't hurt to have a hobby on the side. Look at me rambling on like that. <laughs> what can I get for you? I see you have exquisite taste. If you'd like, I can have the bed delivered to your home this afternoon. Don't be silly. Think of it as a welcoming gift. Welcome back, darling. What can I get for you? But of course. I've been so busy lately, I nearly forgot. Yes, it is. I need it done immediately. Is that all right with you? Excellent, darling. The job is fairly simple, and your timing is perfect. I need some pony to pull the cart to the post office for me. The order must go out immediately. You see, I've just completed this big order for this smashing soiree in Cantalot. My client requires these outfits post-haste, so I must get them to the post office right away. Trouble is, the cart is just too heavy for a delicate lady such as myself to pull. Hmm. That would be correct. I actually just finished loading the cart. We can leave whenever you're ready. Is there anything else you wish to know? What? You must be joking. You mean to tell me you've never heard of rarity? 
My designs are quite famous, I assure you. Why, Mum, why, my ensembles have been spotlighted by Sapphire Shores herself. Any pony that wishes to dress astonishingly knows of my designs. It only makes sense that I would be commissioned for such a marvelous occasion. It's quite simple, I assure you. Nothing too demanding. All I need you to do is accompany me to the post office, pulling the cart, of course. From there, you'll have to wait for me to handle the paperwork. Then, we return back here to the boutique. All right, then. Just hook yourself up to the cart, and we can be on our merry little way. Is something the matter? You're looking at that cart quite hard. It does. But of course, <laughs> you must have run into Pinkie Pie already. Pinkie is one of my very best friends. She's hilarious and so high energy. If you ever want to throw a party, she's the mare to do the job. Yes, I don't have one of my own. I would scarcely ever need such a thing. Pinky was kind enough to let me borrow it for the day. Not to sound pushy, but we really must get going. I need to get this delivery out immediately. We can chat along the way if you'd like. I do so enjoy good conversation. Loud. Can you manage all right? Have you pulled a sky chariot before? Like the one Princess Celestia tours around in? That's quite fascinating. Perhaps you could teach a friend of mine how to do that sometime. <laughs> I'm really only joking. I have a friend that is rather proud. It would be funny to see her pulling somebody around in a sky chariot. <clears throat> I may know a Pegasus like that. <laughs> You say you moved in just last night. You must have bought a new home. Where in Equestria did you sleep in an unfurnished home? You must be joking! Why, that had to be so terribly uncomfortable! I can't imagine that being good for your wings. You should have come to me sooner, darling. I would have gladly lent you some pillows. Wait, no! That simply would not do! You could have slept in the bed you purchased from me earlier, there at the boutique. I couldn't imagine, and there truly is no reason to thank me. It would have been the least I could have done, with you being new to Ponyville and all. Just some outfits, though most of them are studded with gems. My clients demanded the best, so that's what I gave them. A single dress doesn't weigh much, but collectively they could be quite heavy. We're almost there. Do you need to take a break? Here we are! If you could pull that card right over there, I will have it unloaded. Excuse me while I head inside and take care of the postage. Hey! It's that new pony! Hey, new pony! Remember me? Yup, that's me! And here are my friends, Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo. 
We're the Cutie Mark Crusaders on the quest to find our Cutie Marks! Yeah, we get into all sorts of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes we get into stuff we probably shouldn't have. Pfft, so what? You never see Rainbow Dash backing down from trouble. Hey, Pinky brought this over to my sister's this morning. Are you working for my sister? Yeah, she's my big sister. Are you working for her? Maybe he's Rarity's boyfriend. <laughs> really? You don't look like a fashion pony. That's right, you're new in town. So I guess you're trying to earn up some bits. <gasps> if you like, you could ask my sister if she needs any help down at the farm. Her and Big Macintosh are always super busy. I reckon they could use a helping, huh? Maybe that will get us our cutie marks. Cutie Mark Crusader Job Finders! Cutie Mark Crusader Job Finders! All done! Oh, how I wish I could see their faces when they lay eyes on such stunning works of art. Huh. Such is the business when my clients are from out of town. Shall we head back to the boutique? Here we are. You can just leave the cart there behind the boutique. Thank you so much for helping me on such short notice. I was really in a pinch there for a moment. I simply had to get that order out today. And I didn't know of any pony that would have been able to help. Of course, you'll be wanting your pay. Here you are. <laughs> Actually, dear, I need help quite often. Oh, why don't you give me your address? That way I can send you a letter should I ever be in need of assistance. You'll get first dibs on any work I need done. Sound fair? But of course. Bye bye now. Yeah, I do that, uh, all the time. <laughs> oh, um, did you order a bed? Sometimes. I usually deliver the mail, but sometimes I deliver bigger stuff, too. Derpy Mare Mail can deliver anything from a package to a piano. Mm-hmm. It's called Derpy Mare Mail because I'm derpy and I'm a mare. <laughs> it's a really clever name. I wanted to call it Muffin Mail, but that didn't seem to make sense. Hmm, muffins. Yeah, I thought so too. Hey, I just realized I've never seen you before and last I checked this house was empty. Hmm, usually empty. <gasps> you must be new! Hi, new friend! Yeah! Wanna be friends? That's a great new friend! I don't have many friends, it's so nice to get a new one! Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I have your... bed. Whoops. The cart must have tipped over when I landed. Uh, don't worry, I'm sure your bed is just fine. Derpy mare mail packages almost always are. You're welcome, new friend. Hey, you want to get some muffins later? <gasps> Me too! I just love muffins! Banana muffins, banana nut muffins, blueberry and banana nut muffins, strawberry muffins. Muffins. 
Well, that's a good question. I guess you could say I'm really good at bringing things to ponies. Usually in good condition. <laughs> So I got an idea one day to start my own delivery business. Well, not really. At first I got a job delivering pianos and anvils. There were a few incidents. Some ponies had to go to the hospital because pianos fell on them, but it really wasn't my fault, honest. So then I kinda... Uh, yeah. But, but then I started delivering letters and smaller stuff. Derpy Mare Mail was born and no ponies have had pianos dropped on them since. <coughs> Oops, my bad. Here, I can fix it. Okay, well, I need to get back to work. Lots of ponies have stuff they need to get somewhere. See you soon for muffins, new friend. Well, how do they, partner? Figured I'd come by and get ya. <laughs> you sure are a kidder. Apple Bloom told me you were looking to drum up some work. Said for me to come get ya first thing in the morning. And it's morning, so here I am. Y'all ready to get to work? She sure did. Guess her and the Cutie Mark Crusaders thought they'd earn a job. Shoot, I ain't even sure what that would look like. Well, grab your work gear, if and y'all got any. Be here waiting for- Hey, you remember my name. You're pretty sharp there, new pony. Let's get along. Got a lot of work to get done. Come on, new pony. First things first. Y'all can't be working on an empty stomach. Come on now, time to eat. You're certainly welcome. And don't worry, that don't come out your pay or nothing. Ready to get to work? We got plenty to do. Yeah, Pinky decided to give the barn a new shine for me. Her heart was in the right place, but that design isn't very apple. <laughs> that sure sounds like Pinkie Pie. Mm-hmm. Pinky and Rarity are two of my best friends. Yep, she's friends with every pony in town. All right, partner. You see this here apple tree? We gotta get those apples down and into these buckets, just like I got here. Once we've accomplished that, the buckets gotta get loaded onto a... Don't worry about pulling the carts. Big Macintosh will take care of that. 
Y'all ready to get to work? He's my brother. He does the heavy stuff here on the farm. Right good job he does too. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll end up meeting him at some point in the day. You and him ought to get along real nice. Seeing how neither one of y'all talk much. It's real simple. All you gotta do is what we call apple bucking. You just buck the trees. Like this. Do it right and the apples fall right into the baskets. For now, that's all we gotta worry about. Good to hear. Now I'm gonna head over there and start working my way to you. You start working your way to me and we'll meet in the middle. We'll be done before you know it. Before I head out, I need to make sure you can handle it. No offense. Show me what you can do. Get to bucking! That sure was funny, new pony. You look like a colt that's had one too many. I ain't never seen a pony buck themselves onto their face before. Here, let me show you one more time. You see, you gotta get a good grip with your front hooves, else you're just gonna fall on your face, as I reckon y'all know. <laughs> well, that was fun and all, but it's time to get to work. Just give a yell if you need any. Doggy, we got them apples down lickety-split. You ain't half bad there, new pony. We finished this here section in half the time I thought it would take. I reckon y'all got the hang of apple bucking. Now just let me go and find Big Macintosh so he can haul him off. After that, we can head back to the house and you can collect your- Wait right here. I'm gonna go fetch Big Macintosh. New Pony, this here's Big Macintosh. Yup. 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 <laughs> I can see y'all got plenty to talk about. Come on, new pony. Let's let Big Macintosh work. Time to head back. Yup. Here you are. Fifty shiny bits for a job well done. If y'all ever need to rustle up some cash, come let me know. We could always use some extra help down on the farm. pass by here yeah sorry about that Lyra is excitable yeah but you get used to it you're new in town right that's awesome I'm Bonbon and the unicorn you just met is Lyra 
I own a candy shop down in the market. You should stop by sometime. Sweet! Here, have some. It's my newest flavor. I call it... Bonbon! Bon, come on, hurry! You're gonna miss it! <sighs> okay, Lyra, I'm coming. See you around, new guy. Did you say fun things? I love fun things! What? You mean to tell me you don't know about all the cool stuff there is to do here in Ponyville? You must be new. Are you new? <laughs> because every pony in Ponyville knows the most fun thing to do is check out the tricks performed by none other than the future Wonderbolt Rainbow Dash! Are you serious? You're looking at her! Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, new pony. So, you wanna help me with some awesome new moves I've been working on? No, no. You don't have to try to keep up with me. That just wouldn't be fair. I am the best flyer in Equestria, after all. You just sit back and watch. And don't be afraid to show your enthusiasm. Being a fellow Pegasus, you'll have a different kind of appreciation for- Okay, new pony, let's get to it. What was your name again? Hey, look at those clouds! They're perfect! Come on, new pony. Follow me up to those clouds. You should be able to get a great view of my awesome moves from up there. Don't worry, I won't fly too fast. Wouldn't be fair to ask you to keep up with me. <laughs> All right, new pony. Are you ready to see the most awesome aerial acrobatics ever? <laughs> okay. Fellow Pegasus, I'm sure you'll understand the complexity of these moves. Have you ever seen the Wonderbolts perform? Hey, that's right! You went to flight school in Cloudsdale, right? So that's why you look familiar! I knew I'd seen you somewhere before. You were in my class, I think. Hey, yeah, now that I think about it, you were! It was the same year that one call got recruited by the Wonderbolts. Remember? He wasn't even out of flight school yet, and the Wonderbolts walked right up to him and offered him a spot on their team. It was like, one of the coolest things ever! You okay? You sound kinda angry. Oh, I get it. <laughs> We're thinking the same thing. They should have offered me a spot on their team that day. Yeah, it bugs me too sometimes. But I know my time is coming. Come to think of it, the cult that got recruited. What was his name again? What? He's a Wonderbolt. Of course it matters. Anyway, let's get on with the cool stuff. Okay, here we go. suddenly in my eyes, and it felt like the wind changed, and I haven't eaten today, and then I, um, uh, yeah, it wasn't my fault. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, my ears are ringing. Hey, look, don't tell any pony about the crashing part, okay? Please? I have a reputation to uphold. I'm practically a hero to Ponyville. I have a fan club and everything. Run by Philly that might be a bit too uh, obsessed. So let's just keep this between us, okay? Please? Oh, 
thank you so much, new pony. I mean, as the best flyer in Equestria, a lot of ponies look up to me. Wouldn't want to go crushing their vision of their hero, right? Yeah, you noticed, huh? I am one of the best after all. I don't mean to brag, but did you see those moves? No normal Pegasus could pull the- Cool. More like- There you are, Dashy! Kinky? Come on, Dashy. I need your help. Sorry, new pony. Gotta go. Talk later.